everyone. Welcome back to Poets and Quants' Must Reads, a quick digestible recap of the top business school news sponsored by Center Court, our oh. virtual admission events. I'm your host, Christy Bleizeffer, and I'll be highlighting the most important P&Q stories you might have missed. So let's get to it. Number one, 2025 Fortune MBA rankings. It's Harvard again. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz popularly branded his Republican opponents weird. That's an appropriate comment to be made about the fourth annual MBA ranking from Fortune as well. MBA programs that have never landed on any other ranking oddly pop up here, including in the top 50. Schools that have long been in the top 25 have either fallen off the Fortune ranking entirely or feature well below their historic rankings. Yet at the very top of the list, you'll see more expected players. Harvard Business School, for example, claims first place for the fourth straight year. Poets and Quants editor and founder John Byrne breaks down the full ranking in this story, which you'll find in our trending tab. Number two, in leaked US news ranking, Penn falls to lowest spot in 27 years. The student newspaper of the University of Pennsylvania has published a leaked list of the top 10 schools in US News and World Report's 2024-2025 ranking of the top universities in the United States. That's two weeks early, and it shows Penn sinking to its lowest ranking this century. The Daily Pennsylvania published an advanced copy of the top 10 schools in the best national universities ranking earlier this week. It shows Penn dropping to 10th from sixth place its lowest rank since 1997 when it ranked 13th. The school, home to the Wharton School, which is number one in Poets and Quants' most recent ranking of the top undergraduate business programs, ranked as high as number four on US News' list as recently as 2010. You can see the sneak peek of the US News top 10 in this article, which appears on our homepage. Number three, the 100 highest funded MBA startups of 2024. This week, Poets and Quants presents our list of the 100 highest funded MBA startups of 2024. As we've done each year since 2014, we solicited MBA founded startups from the world's best MBA programs to compile a list based on a single metric, how much funding a startup has raised in the past five years. It's the most accessible apples to apples comparison out there. This year, MBA-founded startups at INSEAD and London Business School nabbed the top two spots with fintech startups that have raised more than $2.6 billion between them. Our 2024 list features 100 MBA-founded startups from 12 leading business schools from around the world. Altogether, the startups have raised nearly $7 billion despite a tougher VC market early this year. You can see the full list on our homepage. Number four, our weekly roundup of news you can use. No matter where you are in your MB journey, we bring you several helpful stories this week. First up, who should work with an MBA consultant? In this article, available from our homepage, we identify nine types of MBA candidates who can benefit the most from an MBA admissions consultant. Next, GMAT preparation for busy test takers. Menlo Coaching has prepared a comprehensive guide for those preparing for the GMAT Focus Edition. You can find it in our admissions hub. And finally, what it costs to get an MBA from a top business school. This article up now on our homepage has the cost data on all the top MBA programs. And that's it for this week's Must Read Recap. I also want to alert school seekers to our events tab from our main menu. There you'll find all the upcoming admission events for a range of degrees and programs, including full-time and online MBAs, specialized masters, entrepreneurship, and more. Registration is free. Again, I'm Christy Bleizeffer, and you can join me next week right here for a recap of what's important in the world of business education. Thanks for listening.